Hello everyone, y'all too. Today I'm in downtown Hamilton, Ohio. We're gonna see some trains down here and we're gonna have a look at where they're gonna put in the new hotel and rooftop restaurant and observation lounge. So here it is. These vacant lots are gonna be completely developed. This will be so cool. You'll be able to come here and get a room and watch trains go by. This is Butler Street in Hamilton. This road is gonna be closed. Butler Street right there, that goes. And right there is where I'll be able to get me a, a room and watch some trains. You got the tracks right directly across from it. These houses have a great view. Hey, go ahead and start the video, son. We got a train coming right now. And we're also gonna have a look at the new depot location. We're gonna move the depot and see what kind of work that they're doing. So here we go, Hampton, Ohio. Hey, check this out. We got a train coming right now. I'm gonna have to get it from here.
first line. Got lucky. Wow, I got lucky there. Only one car came up behind me and they went around. So that was pretty good. So we're gonna go across the tracks here, make a left and find some more trains. Hey, that's the first time I filmed at this crossing at this angle. So that was pretty cool. Thanks for watching everyone. All right, due to popular demand, guess where I'm at here? This is the Hamilton Depot. This is the depot that I filmed them moving. I don't know, it's been over a year ago. And they're working out here today. So let's have a look. Doing some roof work. Gonna put a new roof on, looks like. The Hamilton Depot in March 2024. Live action going on. These guys have a great view of the trains. <laughs> I kinda don't think that they're watching for trains though, but. Station's coming right along. And I hope things go as planned. They're talking about having an Amtrak stop here. That would really be something. It would be the Cardinal. Cardinal goes from Cincinnati up through Hamilton. Then it goes off onto the Indy sub towards Indianapolis and Chicago. So they could make a short reverse move and service this depot right here in downtown Hamilton. That would really be cool. Show where the tracks are at. Here's the tracks right here. So they're pretty close by. Railroad crossing. And this depot, as you recall, was moved from way down that way just to the right of that curve. Go down past the curve a short ways. And right at that railroad crossing, we see the gates and the lights right there between the track and the road, just past the curb. That's where the station came from. The depot was there, and I filmed it being moved over to here. It's been over a year ago. I don't remember exactly when it was. Probably the fall of 2022, somewhere in that area. So there you go. Got work going on on the depot right now. That's why I need to get up in a lift like that and film some trains. Let's go catch us another train. But wait, there's more noises. Got a train going up the, the Indy sub. I don't get a whole lot on that. I hate shooting in the sun. Don't have any choice at this point. Here we go. Bunch of jumps. Got some good, good classic standard.
have locomotives. This is where the train station used to be, right here. The Hamilton Depot. Right here at the Y. Hard to believe the train station is not here anymore. It looks so different. I got the film of being moved. That was pretty awesome. Check out that last car. That's interesting. There she goes, headed towards Indianapolis. And this is where the Hamilton Depot used to be, right here. See this? Right here at the Y. And now it's moved way down that way. You can't even see it. Well, wait a minute. There it is. On the left, there's people up there working on the roof right now. You can just barely see it. I got it zoomed all the way in. There you go. Thanks for watching. Live action, Hamilton, Ohio. All right, check this out. I'm in downtown Hamilton at Dayton Street, and we've got a train coming on the CSX line. Another train went through here about 20 minutes ago and stopped right there to let this train pass. Let's see if you can still see it. There it is. They're letting the train go around them. They're blocking um, Heaton Street down the road. And we got a Norfolk Southern Looks like an intermodal train on the CSX line. It is northbound on CSX and they'll go up a couple miles past me and they'll diverge onto the Newcastle sub towards Indiana. That's where that train's headed right now. Came out of Guest Street Yard. From Guest Street Yard, Cincinnati, headed over towards Newcastle and Muncie, Indiana. That's my people. I don't know what that beeping was about. Gates are going down over here. All right, here we go, live action.
my truck. Right, this ain't a very long one. Right, there you go that wasn't a very long train i've noticed though that norfolk south doesn't really run very long intermodal trains when they go up to the uh, newcastle district i've noticed that that was pretty cool seeing that new york central heritage engine on there i had no idea that was coming so that was a lucky one there here's the spot where they're going to be putting in some new hotels rooftop lounge all kinds of stuff this area is going to be completely redeveloped and of course the railroad crossing right there Butler Street that's going to be gone they'll be taking that out I don't know when the construction starts on this but there you are downtown Hamilton thanks for watching all right check this out we got a CSX train coming down through here on track one there's a version from track one to track two and then they're going to go off onto the Norfolk Southern line. So this is going to be pretty cool. It's really hard to film this because the gate's in the way. So CSX, they're going to diverge onto the Norfolk Southern line. Look at this. Diverging on to the Norfolk Southern line. That's pretty cool. CSX and Norfolk Southern use each other's tracks between Hamilton and Cincinnati. They do directional running. So most of the trains on the Norfolk Southern line go south towards Cincinnati. CSX is predominantly northbound. All kinds of exceptions. We got auto racks here.
wow, this is a long train. Each one of these cars are between 89 and 91 feet long. Over 500 axles. This is a good one. Be over a hundred cars on this train. This will be over two miles long. Hey, DPU, I see you. Let's watch that DPU do a diverging move here. Look at this. Diverge from track one to track two, and then off onto Norfolk Southern. that cool or what? Up, 
That's interesting. Wow, that was a long one. Holy cow. It took me, I think, over 11 minutes to film that. That thing was long. It was stretched all the way from here to the defect detector, which is about, I don't know, it's over two miles away. That was a long one. They have a lot of unhoused population here, too. I think it's the proper terms nowadays. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let's see what else we can get into.